Good evening, everyone, and I want to welcome you to the Win Wellness presentation. Now, I want you to know this is the first night of six presentations that are being hosted here at the Fallbrook Seventh-day Adventist Church in Fallbrook, California. Now, we are very pleased to have Dr. Wes Youngberg here tonight. Dr. Youngberg is going to be the presenter, a health professional, a uh, specialist in the area of lifestyle medicine. I just want to give you a little bit of information about uh, Dr. Youngberg. Uh, he holds a doctorate in, in clinical preventive care from Loma Linda University Medical Center. Uh, I should say Loma Linda University. A master's degree in nutrition as well. And he has also served as a, an assistant professor at Loma Linda University, as well as a certified nutrition specialist. We're very pleased to have Dr. Youngberg as a part of our community. He currently is the um, director of the Rancho Wellness Center in, in uh, Temecula and also the director of the Lifestyle Medicine Clinic, which is part of the Rancho Family Medical Group in Temecula, California. Please welcome Dr. Wes Youngberg. Well, it's, uh, it's my pleasure to be here tonight to be discussing six topics over the next six weeks that, that are so important to our personal health, our family health, and our community health. And tonight we're going to be looking at an issue that most of us have largely ignored, partly because we believe, based on misinterpretation of previous studies, that sunlight is actually bad for us. I come from an island in Guam after 14 years of service there with the Seventh-day Adventist medical group there where most people avoided the sun in spite of the fact that just about every day of the year the sun was out there with its healing rays available but yet we didn't know most people have no idea of the healing potential of sunlight today tonight we're going to be sharing with you how to take advantage of this effectively well sunlight actually has a powerful influence on every aspect of our health. Many people recognize that when we are in the sun, we see a benefit to our mood, to our emotional health. And we'll be learning a lot about that tonight also. In fact, I know of people who have actually moved from the Midwest here to Southern California specifically because they, for their emotional health. And yet, so many of us right here in Southern California are not taking advantage of the healing benefits of sunlight. And we don't recognize that a large part of the year, the sun doesn't get high enough in the horizon in order to get the healing benefits of vitamin D production. We'll touch on that as well. So, uh, many times... Our happiness is gone, and we're, we're wondering what's going on in our emotional lives. In fact, there's some simple strategies that if we take advantage of on a regular basis, we can accomplish significant improvements in our mood, finding joy and happiness returning to our lives. So is this a missing nutrient in your lives? I'm going to show you some studies tonight to, to help you understand that the majority of our community right here in Southern California is vitamin D deficient, is deficient in this very element that is available to us for free. If I told you I had a miracle product that I wanted to sell you, and this miracle product killed bacteria very powerfully, it protects against pneumonia. In fact, people who take this product are, are much less likely to suffer from pneumonia and certainly to die from pneumonia. This product fights tuberculosis. There's actually medical studies showing the power of this against tuberculosis. It adds years to your life. It synchronizes hormones. Do you know that? That this product can dramatically balance hormones even within a few weeks of taking advantage of it. It beautifies your skin. It prevents up to 18 different cancers powerfully. It, it um, fights binge eating. 
How many of us have cravings? Especially late at night, we find ourselves in front of the refrigerator and we're wondering what we're doing there and we look and we're just, we're just looking for something to fill that void, that, that sense of dis-ease that we are experiencing. We may be bored, we may be tired, we may be unhappy about something. We just want to change the way we feel. But this product does that for us. It literally changes the way we feel right through the brain and the nervous system, the way it's supposed to happen. It drives away depression. It prevents falls in the elder. You know that this product, if you choose to buy it tonight, can, can prevent 40 to 50% of all falls in the elderly. You ready to sign up? Hey, we can put you on the monthly plan. <laughs> it, it not only prevents falls, but it also prevents the hip fractures that oftentimes cause the fall or are caused by the fall. 50% of all hip fractures in the elderly could be wiped off could be taken care of completely if we're paying attention to this on a regular basis. Oh, not only that, but it increases agility. You know, the main reason that, that, that we, as we get older, tend to fall is because the muscles become so weak that we can't catch ourselves. And if we can't catch ourselves, we fall. So this product dramatically enhances the strength of the muscle as well as the agility, the coordination of our movements. There are studies now available. I recently uh, took a, a continued medical education class on this product and how it could actually prevent chronic kidney failure. In fact, I've seen it reverse chronic kidney failure. And I see physicians in this audience who've seen that occur as well. Well, but wait a minute, you're saying you know, you're, all these powerful benefits associated with getting out into the sunlight, taking advantage of these healing ultraviolet B rays. But what about the bad side? Uh, we've been hearing so much information to absolutely don't go out in the sun unless you've slapped on lots of sunscreen over your whole body. So how do we handle the seemingly controversial perspectives on this? The good, the bad. Tonight, we're going we're gonna to shed some light on that and help you really understand where you want to be on this topic. First of all, contrary to popular opinion, sunlight is one of the most powerful ways to prevent certain cancers. In fact, studies have shown that sunshine is protective against both lymphoma and melanoma. Melanoma, of course, is that deadliest form of skin cancer which, which we're afraid of because if you get melanoma, uh, that's bad news. And so the, the typical perspective on this is that if we, if we just stay out of the sun, we're not going to get melanoma. Is that true? Let's take a look. Uh, other studies have shown that, that exposure to sunshine cuts the risk of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma by up to 40%. And it even protects against regular Hodgkin's disease. The National Cancer Institute a few years ago came out with a report that showed that sun exposure is linked to better survival in those individuals and patients who have melanoma already. Now, here we're, we're, our typical mindset is that sun causes melanoma, and yet the studies coming out from the most prestigious medical centers, universities, and journals are showing the opposite is true. That if we prudently take advantage of sunlight on a regular basis, that has powerful healing benefits to our 